What's up dudes and dudes of the year now my name's Seth and today we're gonna be taking a look at axe bow and staff This is kind of a side-scrolling rhythm type of game that I would say is very much akin to bit trip runner or something like that Well, not necessarily being as much about the music, but more just about a genuine challenge. And it's a lot of fun. You can end up playing locally with a bunch of friends, or we could end up playing online, which generally speaking, I don't think there's gonna be any servers this late for me right now. But before we hop into the game, I would very much appreciate if you would hit that like button, folks. Helps me out more than you know. Links will be in the description for everything. And let's get to it. So the game is gonna instruct us how it's actually played right here, right now. And we can end up using some meat to give us a little bit of a speed boost, which could end up uh, really working very badly against us. You can see our character is the axe character because all of all the different characters, axe, bow, and staff, right? So you end up having three different characters that you can mess with. Uh, so this character, they're just teaching us, like, we use a slash to destroy bushes. We also use the slash to destroy goblins. So you gotta be very careful and kind of time it appropriately, right? And then we ended up just getting another big piece of meat, which is gonna heal us uh, and give our health back, which you can see all of that in the bottom left. Now, these little things that look like they're from Kirby, those are checkpoints. And uh, the game is also gonna show us press A to block. So it's kind of, like I said, like it's very much bit trip racer where it's kind of just different patterns that you come across and you gotta understand and recognize uh, what you're supposed to do. So this archer right here, we know we have to block and then we have to attack the bushes, right? And now this is where the part of the game ends up becoming really, really cool because you can just swap lanes. And I, I always really like games like this. I don't know why, there's just something about them. Whenever I was growing up, I always really enjoyed these types of games. And now we got a speed boost, which of course, if we end up touching that orb right there, it's gonna give us a speed down. But we're gonna try and do as fast as we can without getting destroyed. Oh my goodness, you can totally see how this game could end up being something really, really crazy. And now we ended up going super, super duper Saiyan. I don't even know how we ended up doing that, but we ended up just getting a loot crate, which press Y to heal uh, or to use a health potion. Left and right bumper to switch between the items, which we don't necessarily need to do that, but that's okay. So now, oh, we actually took a little bit of damage off of those freaks. Uh-uh, that ain't good. Let's use the health potion anyway, just because why not? So you can also run into enemies like this where they can fight back and I'm trying to get the timing down. I'm just not very good at it yet. Uh, the game also, I, I kind of skipped over that, but yeah, you can actually press down when you're on the bottom path and it'll make your character whoop go all the way back to the top lane, which I can see being very hectic and very confusing in the late game, right? So let's just hop right into the next level because now they're teaching us about the bow character, right? I don't know why it said something about us being a ninja. I, okay. Oh, and now I, I guess we just have a, a, an archer attack now, so we can actually shoot these enemies from afar. And pressing A is going to jump and dodge with this guy instead uh, of actually making him... Oh, instead of actually making him cut bushes. So we're going to need to do that uh, in order to get over all of this stuff, but also to end up... Uh, dodging arrows, I guess. Oh boy. So that's a pretty cool mechanic. And that's the thing that's cool as well is in multiplayer, if you're playing with your friends, you can end up uh, like playing as all the different characters, you know? So that's pretty neat. I, whoa, that was perfect timing. Thank goodness they ended up giving us that. And it seemed like we couldn't actually land on the leaves. We had to, like, as we landed on it, we ended up just getting right over it. So that's just fine by me. Get all the points that we can. Oh yeah! I really like this game though, man, and the fact that it goes into this super duper hyper mode really scares me though. Oh my goodness gracious, we're- uh, what? We're on too much of a cooldown though, how are we supposed to end up jumping that? At least it's got a quick and easy checkpoint, so let's try that again. I am determined to get every single one of these points. We gotta get them all. Okay. Don't worry, we'll do it everybody. Okay. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe we won't. That's okay. We don't need to get them all. That's that's fine. <sighs> Almost ended up dead. I suck at these games, but I enjoy them. <laughs> you know? Oh, boy. So we'll end up uh, trying out the staff character just after this. Whoops. Whoa! Oh, man. I tried to dodge that, but it didn't work. Oh, well. Uh, but, yeah, we'll end up trying the uh, staff character. Yeah, see, look at that. So we've actually got, like, 
even though I'm tapping the jump button, it's got a little bit of a cooldown. So I guess those spots are just something tricky where we would just have to, uh, okay, where we would have just had to like kind of dodge them all by going up and down to get all the points rather than trying to get every single one of them like rip me, you know? Whoops, wrong button. Okay. Jeez Louise, this game really knows how to step it up, especially this early. I mean, granted, I'm commentating, so it definitely makes things a little bit more tedious. Now, that's one thing that I would just complain about right there. I'm actually surprised about that one. That's really bad. Um, but as we were killing that enemy, you kind of noticed that the screen ended up freezing every time we ended up actually hitting the enemy. And it was actually locking out my controls for that split second. So even though I was tapping the jump button, we weren't actually jumping because we ended up hitting the enemy uh, at the perfect timing. So I would like to see that improved upon because that's, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe, you know, I guess it's on purpose, but it, like even with that bush right there, it's like, what were we supposed to end up actually doing? I don't know. It's still a good game, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's just, you know, these little things that you end up noticing with it, right? So let's try the staff character. We still ended up getting three stars for just getting all the points anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but let's try the staff character out, which is some crazy old man, uh, before we call it a day. Uh, and then maybe, maybe we'll end up getting up to a shop after this level. I would really hope so and expect it. Press X to teleport to, okay, oh. Oh, okay. I like this character. So it doesn't seem like he can jump. So his levels would specifically be, oh, I like this wizard character. He's really neat. Yeah, I could totally see this one being a thing. I mean, granted, it's definitely getting like, I mean, I'm already having trouble, you know? So how do we hit the, is this a switch that we hit? Okay, good. So they were just introducing that. Uh, oh, I see. We needed to get them to hit the switch that time. Rip me. I should have trusted the fungus. So now they're trying to tell us, yeah, hold X uh, to, and then teleport or target to the other lanes. Aha, I see. That's pretty cool how each of the different characters ends up having a different gameplay mechanic, you know? That's really neat. I like that. So now we got to warp this guy onto that lane and then, yeah, get him right off of it, too. Okay. All right. Uh, what do we... Oh, he can just stand on the rocks. Okay. And then we'll hide that guy in the bushes just for some reason. Whoops. No. There we go. So at least we can still end up picking this up because otherwise, rip me, we weren't going to be able to. There we go. Oh man, it, it gets so intense even though we're like barely doing anything, you know? What does the A button do? Is that just a block? Oh yeah, that must be a block. Uh, use A to dispel all negative effects. <laughs> Onions are plants and they can't be teleported. Okay. I'm trying to dispel it right now. I see, so they can slow us down. So they'll end up throwing these enemies at us. Okay, rip me. Uh, that'll end up slowing us down so that we could end up uh, really getting messed up if it ended up pushing us uh, like uh, around and like like we saw right there like uh, I kind of messed up with the timing because I was trying to attack the orb uh, the projectile rather than just rather than d d dispelling it oh jeez I don't even know how I got out of there aha oh we're in super saiyan mode good. I don't know what that creature's doing. Oh, he's got money in him. Give me that money. <laughs> oh, boy. This game is pretty exciting. I like it. So let's see if there's actually a shop here. Why was there a whole bunch of money behind us after we hit that switch? That's not cool, man. I wanted all that. Didn't end up doing too well, though. What the? That's the weirdest map loading screen I've ever seen. It hurts my eyes. All right, so here's the map system. Uh, select level shop. Here we go. This is what I was looking at. So we can end up buying. I, I'm guessing these would all be temporary upgrades. So we've got a slow time accessory. Slow down the game time whenever you hover over the equipped hero. Okay. Uh, oh, whenever we choose that specific character. So I guess it would end up throwing uh, multiple different characters to control or something like that. Uh, then there's recover all hero HP. 
Okay. Revive heroes to full HP. Protect heroes from all negative effects for five seconds. And questionable vial. Who knows what might be inside. All right. And then there's upgrades as well. So as we level up the characters, I guess we could kind of have a little bit of a skill tree and different skills involved. Uh, increase the duration of block by 30%. Yeah, increase the speed of the bow uh, arrows by 50%. Uh, the teleported enemy will be paralyzed for a little while, which requires level 1 as well. So that's pretty cool. I like that it's got different mechanics like that. Let's just go to this last level and just see... Aha! Okay, so we could end up playing this game with multiple players, and they would end up controlling these other characters. But as for us right now... We're going to be controlling the uh, warrior character. Maybe we'll be able to swap over to the AI character. And then AI is going to control the second one. Okay, so I understand. That's a pretty cool mechanic, though. I like it. <laughs> He's just laying down here? What's going on? <laughs> I'm scared. Don't worry, dude. I'm okay. I'm just monkeying around. <laughs> I like that. Why is he giving him a carrot? I don't understand. I have an axe. With my axe, we'll be friends and form the Fellowship of the Ring. All right, I'm strong. Okay. Yeah, so we can actually switch between each of the characters. Okay. So that's good to keep in mind. And then I guess uh, we could just keep swapping between them all back and forth. That's pretty neat, though. I really enjoy it. Really good game. Links are in the description, folks. You can check it out for yourself. Uh, otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Very much appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed. Stay epic, everybody. Sign away and stay epic. I know I said that twice, but rip me because I'm trying to concentrate on this game at the same time as commentating. Oh,